Here comes my school bus. I am going to fart on the bus. What's that awful smell? It smells like fart art. Hey, who just farted on the bus? K.I.U. did it, and he's laughing. K.I.U. You farted on the bus, and it smelled worse than we thought. Get off the bus right now and go home. Kalu, why are you home early? Why are you crying like a baby? It's because I farted on the bus, Dad. So woo hoo 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 you are grounded 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 for 10 billion years. Go to bed right now. Come on Kalu. We're going to Pizza Hut for your sister's birthday. I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Kalu, today is your sister's birthday, and we have to make her day extra special. Because you are invited, we expect you to be on your best behavior. Understand? Yeah, okay. Hey mom and dad, can I go to the bathroom? Yes, but hurry back. We're having birthday cake in a few minutes. Okay, I will hurry back. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese to ditch my sister's birthday. Chuck E. Cheese, here I am. Where's Kalu? I thought Kalu is at the bathroom. It has been over an hour and he never comes back. Kalu must be at Chuck E. Cheese to despite his own sister's birthday. We must bring him back. He is in deep trouble. Kalu, you're supposed to be at your sister's birthday party. Let's go home right now. You're in deep trouble. Kalo, how could you abandon your own sister's birthday party? That's it, Kalo. You are grounded 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 for one year. You are not to celebrate your next birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Rosie is mad. Kalo is a bad brother. Yes, that's right Rosie. Now go to your room Kalo. Go to your room now Kalo. You, Dad, you're nothing but a piece of... Okay, Lou, how dare you sport your own father? That's it. You are even more grounded, 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 grounded for additional two months. I am taking you upstairs now. For your punishment, you are going to wear nappies. Oh no 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 Ouch. That hurts, Dad. I don't care, Kalu. Stay in your room. I hate this fancy restaurant. This place really sucks. I am going to turn the fancy restaurant into Chuck E. Cheese's. Ha 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 Chuck E. Cheese's rules. Fancy restaurant drools. Come on, everyone. Let's go eat in the fancy restaurant. What the? What happened to the fancy restaurant? Come here, Kalu. Tell us what happened to the fancy restaurant. No dad, I won't tell. Tell us what happened, or you're grounded bigger time. Okay, I turned the fancy restaurant into Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, Lou, we can't believe that you've just turned the fancy restaurant into Chuck E. Cheese's. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded. For three nine seven one eight three two nine nine four seven four five seven eight zero two seven nine seven nine four nine four two seven one nine four nine zero two zero four eight seven five six nine seven nine seven seven six six nine zero two zero nine seven zero 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 three nine four four eight six seven two eight four nine two zero one seven four nine seven six five nine zero seven two nine four five Five seven four nine two seven five one zero zero four nine zero eight six seven zero nine seven one zero three nine zero seven eight six nine nine three three nine six zero 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 nine three four seven eight one six four eight two six eight four zero one nine five seven two nine eight four nine five four seven two one zero one zero eight four zero eight two seven zero eight zero eight two five Five zero 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 years. Let's go home now. Thanks for telling us, Kano. Ha 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 ha. I am going to the bathroom with a fake hall pass. What the? It's locked. Who's in there? It's the janitor. What do you want? Could you please hurry up? I need to go to the bathroom too. No. Why not? It's my bathroom. Go get your own. Come on, hurry up, toilet man. I haven't got all day, you know. What did you just call me? I called you the toilet man. Go to the principal's office right now. Hello, Kalu. What brings you back here this time? And why are you crying like a baby? I called the janitor the toilet man. You don't call the janitor the toilet man. That's it. You are expelled. Kalu, we can't believe you've got expelled from school for calling the janitor the toilet man and using a fake hall pass. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for life. That means you don't get to go to college. No scholarships, no intuitions, no college funds, no degrees, no diplomas, and no graduations. Yay! Chuck E. Cheeses. Here we are. What the- Hey, it is closed mom and dad. Well Kalu, it says that they're closed for repairs of rides and games. I'm sorry Kalu. What? Is this some kind of a joke? No it is not. Come on! Kalu, let's go to another play place, like Peter Piper Pizza. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go to Peter Piper Pizza. Rosie loves Peter Piper Pizza. But I don't want to go to Peter Piper Pizza. Why not, Kalu? I hate Peter Piper Pizza. I still want to go in Chuck E. Cheese's. Peter Piper Pizza is similarly like Chuck E. Cheese's. We can either go to Peter Piper Pizza, or we can go straight home. No. I still want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's, and that's final. Don't talk to your father like that, Kano. You better cut it out. You are acting like a spoiled brat. I have a better idea, Mom and Dad. How about we break into Chuck E. Cheese's, so we can go in? Come on everyone, let's break into Chuck E. Cheese's and let's go in and have fun in there. I don't think we can do that. It's against the law. Okay, fine. If you don't want to break in, I will break in Chuck E. Cheese's myself.
Let's go home right now before the cops come here. You are in a really heap of deep trouble. Mom and Dad, can we come back? No, we cannot. We're going straight home. Why can't we? Because you destroyed Chuck E. Cheese's. All I wanted was to go into Chuck E. Cheese's. Yes, but Chuck E. Cheese's was closed, and you threw a big meltdown about it. That was pretty stupid of you to do that. Stop crying like a baby, Kalo. It's your own fault. I want to go to Peter Piper Pizza. Can we go there? No, Kalo. We're still going straight home. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. Your apology isn't good enough, so we're home now. Go to your room and never ever come out. Let's watch the news while Kalu is in his room. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Broca and welcome to GNN Live News. We have breaking news today that there's been a destruction at Chuck E. Cheese's. I'm Detective Allen. The police have arrived to investigate and to take a look at the damages of this pizza restaurant Chuck E. Cheese's. Thank goodness no one is hurt or killed. Let's hear what the police and FBI have to say. The fire is almost completely put out, but we don't know what could possibly be the cause of this. There are many broken windows and graffiti all over the walls of this premises. The walls are literally soiled. We have found the rock inside that caused the windows to be broken. We still don't know who could have done it. This has been GNN Live News Today. Again, I'm Tom Broca. Thank you for watching. Hey, Doris. Don't call me Doris. Why not, Doris? Call me Mommy. If you call me Doris one last time, you are grounded for extended time. Okay, I will call you Mommy from now on, Doris. That's it, Kalo. You are more grounded for an additional six months. Go back to your room and stay in there forever. No, 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 no. Now, Kalu, we want you to be on your best behavior at Mr. Henkel's house, while your mom and I drop off Rosie at the daycare center. Your mom and I are going to work. Okay, mom and dad, I promise I will. That's a good boy. You better be. Because if you don't, you will be grounded even more bigger time. We love you, Kalo. Bye-bye. We'll see you later, Kalu. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Now here comes the fun part. Good morning, Kalu. How are you doing today? Good morning, Grandpa. I'm doing fine, thank you. Did you just call me Grandpa? Yep, I sure did, Grandpa. Don't call me Grandpa, Kalu. Why not, Grandpa? My name is not Grandpa, and I am not your Grandpa. My name is Mr. Hinkle. Call me Mr. Hinkle. If you call me Grandpa one last time, I will call your parents. Okay, whatever, Grandpa. That did it, King I do. I am calling your parents right now. Hello, are you the parents of King I do? Apparently, your son King I do kept calling me Grandpa. I don't ever want to see him here again. Can you come pick him up? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Your parents are on their way over. We're very sorry, Mr. Hinkle. I guarantee that this won't happen again. Let's go home right now, Kalu. Kalu, that was pretty stupid of you to call Mr. Hinkle Grandpa. What the heck is wrong with you? That's it. You are more grounded astoundedly for one year. Go to your room and stay in your bed forever. Kalu, get over here right now. Kalu, get over here right now. Kalu, get over here right now. Rosie's mad. Kalu, get over here right now. Rosie's mad. 
Get over here right now. You are in really deep, 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 Hey, you're on the bus right now. Good morning, class. Excuse me, teacher. May I use the boys' room? Okay, KLO, but be quick. Thanks a lot, teacher. I am going to turn this crappy school into Chuck E. Cheese's. Ha 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 ha. Chuck E. Cheese's is here. What is all that racket out there? I better go see what's going on. What is going on here? We are here for Chuck E. Cheese's. Is this Chuck E. Cheese's? This is not Chuck E. Cheese's. This is school. But ma'am, the sign says Chuck E. Cheese's. Really? I better go check and see it. What the? Someone put a Chuck E. Cheese's sign over our school. KLO, get over here right now. What's the matter, teacher? Someone put a Chuck E. Cheese's logo sign over our school. Did you do that? As a matter of fact, I did. KLO, you don't put a Chuck E. Cheese's sign over our school. Come with me back inside. Okay, you guys. This is not a Chuck E. Cheese's restaurant. This is actually a school. I turned the school into Chuck E. Cheese's. Go home right now. I am calling your parents right now. Okay, Lou. We can't believe you got suspended for trying to turn your school into Chuck E. Cheese's. That's it. You are grounded for one year. That means no pizza, no Chuck E. Cheese's, no games, no rides. No TV, no movies, and no power. Get, Get in, in your, your room, room now. now. All right, class. Get out your homework. It's due today. KLO, where is your homework? I don't have it, teacher. My pet cat Gilbert ate my homework. Really, KLO? Um, yes, really. I have Gilbert with me right now. Gilbert, you can come out of my backpack now. Gilbert, break the teacher's leg and beat her up. Oh no 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 Gilbert. Get away from me. Ouch. My leg hurts. Someone called the ambulance. Thanks a lot to you, KLO, and your stupid cat Gilbert. My leg is permanently broken and I will never walk again. Go home right now. You are expelled. God dang it, KLO. Your mother and I can't believe you brought Gilbert to school and broke your teacher's leg. That's it. You and Gilbert are both grounded 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 for one trillion years. You know you're not supposed to bring animals to school without permission. So, why did you do it? Because Gilbert ate my homework, so I had to bring him to school to show proof. Well you should have kept Gilbert away from your homework and got it done sooner. Leave Gilbert alone and go to your room right now. 
Today is April Fool's Day. I am going to pull down the fire alarm switch since there is no fire. Ha 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 It's the fire alarm that goes off. Get in line please. Single file. The good news is that there's no fire around this premises. The bad news is that someone allegedly pulled down the fire alarm switch. Do you know anyone who could have done such a thing? I know who did this. It was Kalu. Kalo, get over here right now. Yes, teacher. The fire alarm went off. Did you do that? Yes, I did. Why would you do that? Ha 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 Happy April Fool's Day. Kalo, this is not very funny. We take fire alarms seriously. In that case, I am calling your parents. You are suspended from school. Hello? Is this Kalo's parents speaking? It's your son, Kalo, who allegedly pulled down the fire alarm switch just for April Fool's Day. I am suspending him right now. Can you come pick him up? Thank you. I appreciate that. Bye. They're on their way now. Oh, uh, oh. Hey, Kalu, we can't believe you got suspended from school for pulling down the fire alarm switch. Why would you do that? Because it's April Fool's Day. I thought it was a prank. I'm sorry mom and dad. It was not a very funny prank. When the fire alarms go off, we have to take them seriously. Your apology is unacceptable. You are grounded for a month. Go to your room now, Kalo, and think about what you just did to the school and the fire department. My soda bottle is empty and I need to recycle it, but I can't find a recycling bin. Since I can't find where to recycle it, oh well, I'll toss it on the grass and leave it. Hey Kalu, you just littered an empty soda bottle. Yeah, so? So, you need to pick it up and put it in the recycling bin. But I couldn't find a recycling bin, so I had to toss it on the ground. That does not mean you have to litter. Today is Earth Day. We have to respect the planet Earth. Ha 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 Too bad, you can't make me. Screw the planet Earth. Come back here, Kalu. I'm calling the cops. Hello? Get me the police right away. Kalu just littered an empty soda bottle in the park and refuses to pick it up. Come quickly before he gets away. Freeze mister. You are under arrest for littering the soda bottle in the park. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will count against you and the court of law. But officer, I couldn't find a recycling bin for my soda bottle. It doesn't matter. Now get in the car. You're going to jail for a long 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 time. Come along with me, young man. So you couldn't find the recycling bin to recycle a soda bottle? Is this why you littered it and ran away? I'm so sorry, Officer Hans. Your apology isn't good enough. It's Earth Day, and you have absolutely no respect for our planet Earth. That was the most disgusting story I've ever heard. Let's go now. We the jury find the defendant, Caillou, guilty of littering the soda bottle in the park. I hereby to sentence you to 88 days in prison. Case dismissed. This is where you'll be staying for 88 days. I hope you learn your lesson. Your soul. Oh, uh, oh. for an additional 365 days. Go to your room now and never ever come out again. Dad, can I have some coffee today? No, you may not have coffee. 
Why not? Because you're too young to have coffee. How about now? The answer is still no. Why not? Because coffee is for adults. Kids don't drink coffee. That's why you're still too young to have coffee. Wa 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 wa. Stop it, Kalu. If you keep asking me to have coffee one more time, you are grounded and I will never take you to Starbucks ever again. Can I please 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 have coffee? Please. That's it. You are grounded for 37171979757921009937987598811971947140779010147140779010147950 days. No more Starbucks for you. Hey mom. Can I have a taste of your wine tonight? No can I. Why can't I? Do I have to explain this to you? You are far too young to have wine. So, how old do I have to be to have wine? You have to be 21 to have wine. Can't I have just one tiny little sip of your wine, please? I said no, Kano. Why not? Kano, you're starting to get really annoying me. If you ask me for wine for the last time, you are grounded. Pretty please. Just one small sip of wine and that's it. That's it. You are grounded for 177-782-889-9339-7910197-105-794-7949-278-489-202-69703-193-907-03-192-357-59751 days. I will never take you out for dinner again. No. I love going out to eat. Stop it, Kalo. Enough is enough. I am going to get revenge against the janitor who expelled me. Hey Kalu. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in class? Oh no. It's the toilet man again. Oh uh, oh. Hey Kalu. How dare you called me the toilet man again? Go back to the principal's office right now. No. What did you just say to me? I said no. You can't make me. I am having revenge against you. I am going to lock you inside the locker. Oh no 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 no. Please don't lock me up, Kalu. That's what you get for expelling me from school. Ha 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 ha. Hey, is anyone there? Can someone get me out? Help. The janitor. Was that you? Where are you? I am locked inside the locker. Please get me out of here. I can't breathe. Don't worry, janitor. I am getting you out of here in no time. Oh my god, janitor. Are you alright? Yes, I am okay, principal. Thank god you came here in time. What happened? Who could have locked eat you up inside? It was no good troublemaking Kalu who locked me up for he has sought revenge against me. Don't worry janitor. I will call Kalu's parents to report this incident. He will never hurt you again. Kalu, we can't believe you got expelled from school again for locking up the janitor inside the locker and calling him the toilet man. Why on earth would you do that? I did that to get revenge against the stupid toilet man. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Kalu, how dare you do that to the janitor and how dare you call him the toilet man for the second time. You are grounded for 25 years. Plus an additional 10 years for calling him the toilet man for the second time. You totally grounded for 35 years. You will never get a job and go to the college. Excuse me, Miss Martin. May I please be excused to go to the boys room? Yes you may, 
Kalo, but please hurry back. Here is your hall pass. Thank you so much, Miss Martin. I am ditching the class, so I will sneak into the principal's office to make a fake school lockdown. Ha 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 ha. Man, I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat for lunch. The coast is clear. Now here's my chance. Attention, Attention all students. All students. We, are we are having an emergency, emergency lockdown. lockdown. Please duck Please under duck your under desk your and desk cover, and yourselves. cover yourselves. yourselves. This is an this emergency, is an emergency lockdown. lockdown. What's going on, Miss Martin? I don't know, Sarah, but we must do what the principal told us. We are having an emergency lockdown. Kalo, what are you doing here? Nothing. I'm getting the heck out of here. You come back here, Kalo. I am calling your parents right now. You are in deep trouble, mister. You're so wo 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 we can't believe you got suspended from school for making a fake lockdown. Plus you have a ton of homework that you didn't do over past three weeks. You also will have more homework for the next two weeks from the school days you will miss. Go to your room right now and do all your homework. I want to see them done by tonight. Hey, Kalo. Do you know what day it is? Oh yeah, I never forget what day it is. Happy Mother! <coughs> day, your mother! Swear at your own mother on Mother's Day. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for one zero 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 mother freaking days. Go upstairs to the bathroom and wash your mouth really well with soap. I am going to start World War Three. Hello, General. Yes. This is the general speaking. What can I do for you? We are having problems with other foreign countries, like Afghanistan, China and North Korea. They are threatening to bomb the US and to take over. Okay, we will declare to start World War III. We will have plenty of brave men and women to defend our country. Thank you for notifying us. Yay, I just started World War III. Let's go watch the news. Hello, this is Tiana News. Today, America has declared war to Afghanistan, China and North Korea. Now, here comes the general. The general is now to speak. America is at war, because Afghanistan, China and North Korea threatens to bomb and to take over the U.S. as being claimed by KU. That is why we are having World War III. Kalu, get over here right now. Yes, Dad. America is at World War III to fight against Afghanistan, China and North Korea because of you claimed it. Is this true? Did you start World War III? Um, unfortunately yes. You are so <laughs> Grounded, 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 grounded. 
for years. Thanks for telling us the truth, son. Now go to your room. I am going to create a YouTube account while I'm grounded. K.I.U. rocks. And now my password. I have already read and accepted the terms of the services. And presto. Yay. I have just created my own YouTube account. Did I just hear you opened up a YouTube account? Uh, no. Let me sit down and see it. Kalu, you know you're not supposed to be using the internet while you are grounded. That means no YouTube, no Go Animate, no Googling. Look, I'm sorry dad. I just opened up a YouTube account just now. I was only using it for a minute. It doesn't matter. Your apology is unacceptable. That's it. I am closing down your YouTube account. Oh no 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 please don't do it dad. I have just closed it. You are still grounded, but you are even more grounded for extendedly six additional months. Get in your bed and go to sleep. Stop crying and go to sleep. 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 Close your eyes and go to sleep. 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 Leave me alone, Gilbert. I said go away. What is it now, Gilbert? What do you want? Uh, now I know what you mean. So you want me to be back on the computer again to open a new GoAnimate account while I'm grounded? Good idea, Gilbert. I'm going to open up a new account on GoAnimate. My email address is kiorox at hotmail.com. My new username is going to be GoKiu. Then my password. I already have read the terms of the use in the privacy policy. The last thing I have to do is to submit. Yay! I have just opened up my new GoAnimate account. But I want to make longer videos and make more characters. I have to have a Go Plus to do that kind of stuff. Oh bummer. Hey, what's that you got in your mouth Gilbert? It's a credit card stolen from daddy. Thanks a million, Gilbert. You saved the day. I'm going to use daddy's credit card to get a Go Plus. Yay. I got a Go Plus. Now I can make longer videos and make more characters. Thank you so much Gilbert. You are a genius. Kalu. Who are you talking to? Um, Gilbert. Why are you back on the computer again? And why is my credit card here on your keyboard? I was checking out on Go Animate with a Go Plus tad. Let me go check and see what you did on Go Animate. Kalu. I can't believe you used my credit card to upgrade your account to a Go Plus. You know you are not supposed to be on the computer while you are still grounded, that's it. I am closing down your account from Go Animate and am taking back my credit card you stole from me. Oh no 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 dad. Please don't do it. I'm sorry. I promise I will pay you back every penny. I just did, and your apology is unforgivable. 
I have told you not to be on the computer again while you are grounded. You disobeyed me. That's it again. I am going to throw your computer out of the window. You will never see your computer again. No 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 Now look what you have done bad. It's literally destroyed. Too bad Kalu. You should have listened to me what I have told you before. You are grounded for an additional extension of six more months. Let's go back in the house and go back to your room now. Hey Kalu. Come down here. Do you know what day it is? No. What is it, Dad? It's Father's Day, Kalu. Oh yeah. Happy Father's Day, Dad. On this special day of mine, you and I are going to go out fishing at the really big lake. Fishing? Are you joking me? This is the stupidest and most boring idea I've ever heard for Father's Day. How about we go to Chuck E. Cheese's? Chuck E. Cheese's is better than fishing. Kalu, how dare you call fishing on Father's Day stupid and boring? You are so old. <laughs> For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one days. We are not going to Chuck E. Cheese's. That's it. I'm going fishing with your mom and your sister instead of you. And that's final. Go back to your room and go back to sleep. Come on. Let's hurry up to the really big lake before all the fishies are gone. I'm going to fake being sick so I can stay home from school today. Good morning Kalo. It's time to get up, so you won't be late for school. Oh my goodness Kalo. Are you alright? No, Mom. I don't feel so good. I need to stay home. Oh dear. I am so sorry you don't feel good. It seems like you have a really high fever. I'm afraid you need to stay home from school. I will call your school to let them know now. And please stay in your bed. Now here's my chance. I am going to play Minecraft on the computer games. Kalo. What are you doing here on the computer? I thought you were sick. But I am sick, Mom. I really am. I'm just checking how my Minecraft game is doing lately. Just for a minute. That's all. No you are not sick. You were faking it. That's it. You are going to school today and that's funnel. You are also grounded for one week. Go to school now. I wonder what's on today. Coming up next on Sprouts is Barney the Dinosaur. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? Oh no, it's that Barney the stupid dinosaur again. That's it. I'm going to kill him once and for all. Hi 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 ha ha. This is where Barney is performing on air right now. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh no 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 no. It's like this. I hate you. You hate me. Let's have Barney up on the tree. Prepare to die, you fat purple turd. Yay. I killed Barney for good. Now it's time to go home. You won't get away with this, Kalu. I am calling your parents right now. Hey, I'm home. Why are you all crying? Someone kill my most favorite TV show character, Barney the Dinosaur. We're going to miss him too. How come you have a gun in your hand, Kalu? You killed Barney, didn't you? 
As a matter of fact, I did, because I hate him so much. He is the stupidest TV show character I've ever seen. Kalu, how dare you call Barney the stupidest TV show character and killed him. He was one of our most favorite TV show characters on Sprouts. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Put the gun down and go to your room right now. Hey dad. Yes Kalu. Can I go see the fireworks with my friends tonight? No you may not. Why not? Because you are still grounded. That's why. But today is the 4th of July dad. The answer is still no Kalu. Now go back to your room. I still want to see the fireworks, but this is so unfair. What is it Gilbert? No you want me to jump out of the window. That sounds a great idea, Gilbert. You're a genius as usual. Thanks a lot Gilbert. Now I'm off to see the 4th of July fireworks. So long suckers. Ha 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 you're just in time for the fireworks. It's great to see you, my friends. The fireworks is about to begin now. Where have you been, Kalu? Um, 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 I went to see the fireworks with my friends. Kalu, we can't believe you went to see the 4th of July fireworks with your friends while you are still grounded. I told you not to, but you did not listen to me, that's it. You are grounded. You are grounded. You are grounded for an additional one year. That means you are grounded on federal holidays, even Christmas. You get no presents, no movies. No vacations, and no holidays. Now go back to your room and don't even think about coming out ever again. Hey Grandpa. How are you doing today? Please don't call me Grandpa, Kalu. Why not Grandpa? Because I'm not your Grandpa. Call me Mr. Hinkle. Okay Grandpa, from now on, I will call you Mr. Hinkle. Kalu. What, Grandpa? Stop calling me Grandpa. If you call me Grandpa one last time, I will call your parents and will ground you. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I didn't mean to call you that. That's it. You are grounded. I am calling your parents right now. Can I use the bathroom now? No. Why can't I? This is my bathroom. But this is the boys' bathroom. Actually, this is the janitor's bathroom. Now go get your own. Come on, Mr. Toilet Man. I have no time to play games. So hurry up and let me use it. I need to go right now so badly. What did you just call me? Um, the Toilet Man. How dare you call me the toilet man? Go to the principal's office right now. Ah, uh, man. Hey, Mr. Hinkle. My name is not Mr. Hinkle. Call me Grandpa. Why can't I call you Mr. Hinkle? Because I am your grandfather. Your father's father. So stop calling me Mr. Hinkle. I'm sorry that I thought you were Mr. Hinkle. You must be confused Kalu. If you call me Mr. Hinkle one last time, I will ground you. I said I was sorry. I won't call you Mr. Hinkle anymore. That's it. You are grounded for 9,000 days. I'm taking you back to your parents' house right now and tell them what you just called me. Oh no 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 no. Be quiet and stop crying like a baby. Good morning class. Today is behavioral report card day. 
I will be passing out each and one of you a different colored report card. Before I pass them out, I need to explain about what their colors mean. Let's begin with the purple card. If you receive the purple card, you get a whole year off from school. If you receive the blue card, you get a semester off from school. If you receive a green card, you get a whole month off from school. If you receive a white card, you get a whole week off from school. If you receive a gray card, that means nothing happens to you. You are not in big trouble. If you receive a yellow card, you are in little trouble. You will be staying after school and you and I will discuss about your in-class behavior. If you receive an orange card, you are in little more trouble. You will have detention after school. If you receive a red card, you are in bigger and more serious trouble. You will have suspension from school. Now I want you all pay close attention to the black card. If you receive a black card, you are really in deep 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 trouble. You will be expelled from school. Now I am passing out the assigned colored behavior report cards to you. Yay! I got the purple cards. Yep, that's right Clementine. Now go to the principal's office to claim your card. Yay, I got the blue card. Yep, you sure did, Sarah. Now proceed to the principal's office to claim your card. Yay, I just got the green card. That's right, Leo. Now claim your card to the principal's office. Oh boy, I got the white card. You're right, Josh. Go to the principal's office to claim your card. Oh crud. I got the gray card. Don't worry, Jason. Nothing good or bad is happening to you, so that means you are not in trouble. Go claim your card at the principal's office. Aw oh, man. I got a yellow card. I guess I am worse than my twin brother. That's right, Jeffrey. You were being a little disruptive during class. I told you there was no talking during class, but you weren't listening. Now go claim your card to the principal's office. Oh great. What the? Did I get an orange card for? Okay, first of all, you need to watch your language. Second of all, you got an orange card because you were being rude and disrespectful to your classmates. You called them stupid and ugly and you told them to shut up a lot. That's why you got an orange card. Go to the principal's office to your claim card first, and then come back here for detention. Oh no. No 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 no. I got a red card. You got a red card, Dora. You're right. You're absolutely right. You were caught kissing Kalo in the hallway which it's inappropriate and it's not allowed on school grounds. Now claim your card at the principal's office first before we begin your suspension. Um, 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 I guess I got a black card. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> Hello there, Clementine. How are you doing today? I got the purple cards. That means I'm the best student in the whole classroom. Congratulations, Clementine. Now go home and enjoy your whole year off from school. Well hello there, Sarah. What a splendid surprise. How are you doing in school? Really good, Principal. I got the blue card. Good job, Sarah. Now go home and enjoy your whole semester off from school. Hello Leo. How are you doing today in school? Very good. The teacher gave me the green card. Good, good. Go home and enjoy your whole month off from school. Hi, Josh. How are you today? Okay, not bad, but I got the white card. Well good for you, Josh. I will see you back in school next week. Hello Jason. How are you doing in class today? I'm really worried, Principal because I got a gray card. 
I'm afraid that bad things might happen to me. Don't worry, Jason. Neither good nor bad things will happen to you. A gray card is neutral, so that means you are still okay. I still expect you to come to class every day. Hello there, Jeffrey. How are you today? I got a yellow card. I guess I'm in some sort of little more trouble than my twin brother. Well Jeffrey, the reason you got a yellow card is because you were being disruptive and you neither listened to your teacher nor your twin brother, now go back to your classroom. Your teacher needs to talk to you about how to improve your behavior, hello little Bill. How is school today? What the? I got an orange card for? First of all, you need to watch your language, and second of all, you got an orange card because you were being rude and disrespectful to your classmates, you were bullying others and you constantly call them names and tell them to shut up a lot. Now go back to your classroom to begin your detention, hello Dora. Why are you crying? I got a red card. My parents are going to kill me. You got a red card and you are suspended because you were caught kissing another classmate which it's pretty disgusting and never allowed on school grounds. Hello Kalu. Why are you here? Um, 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 for some reason, my teacher gave me the black card. You're an right. Kalu, you got a black card. You're the worst student I've ever had in my whole freaking life. Go home right now. I don't ever want to see you again. Hello Kalu. Why are you home early? Why do you have a black card in your hand? Okay, I got expelled from school. I was told that I am the worst student in the whole history of the school. You are so old. <laughs> the freaking grounded for one million freak in years. You are dang right, Kalu. You are the worst student ever in the school. Thanks for telling us, son. Hey, Mr. President. What is your name? I am Kalu. What can I do for you, Kalu? I want to take over your place so I can be President of the United States. Um, no. Why not? Because you can't be President. I really want to be President, so please resign. I said no. Well come on, Mr. President. That's it. I'm calling your parents. You're grounded for over 9,000 days. All right, class. Get out your homework now. And hey, where is your homework, Kalo? I don't have it. Where is it? My pet cat Gilbert ate my homework. Yeah, right. Go to the principal's office right now. You are so grounded for 838910049693103165905710571097540937948 days. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have bad news for you all. Dora the Explorer Season 9 is cancelled, so Dora will be retiring in 2015. This is outrageous. I am going to the studio to bring Dora the Explorer Season 9 back on TV. I won't let them cancel that show. This is the studio where Dora is performing right now. Hey Dora, I'm here. K.I.U. What are you doing here? I'm here to bring your show back, so there will still be Dora the Explorer Season 9 and you don't have to retire yet. Here, I just took the cancelled label off your show. Let's begin your Season 9 now. Let's see what's on Nick Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have awesome news. There has been a mistake. There is no cancellation of Dora the Explorer Season 9. Let this show begin. Huh? What the? Hey, is that Kalu on the show? Is he bringing back the ninth season of Dora the Explorer on TV? Um, I think so. Wait until Kalu returns home. 
Mikaelu, how dare you bring back Dora the Explorer season 9, Dora the Explorer is stupid. Her ninth season is supposed to be cancelled and she's supposed to be retiring from Nick Jr. that's it. You are grounded for 20 years. Go to your room and watch Dora the Explorer shows only. There will still be no season 9 and you will not see it. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I am looking for a job here. What's your name? My name is Kalu. How old are you? I'm five years old. I'm sorry, sir, you cannot apply here for a job. Why not? You are too young to get a job and it is against the child labor laws. Don't you have school you have to go to? Unfortunately, no. I got expelled from school for calling the janitor the toilet man. Too bad, Kalu. You can't apply here without an education and being underage. Please, I really need a job. That's it. You're starting to annoy me. Go home. I'm calling your parents. You are grounded for extendedly 11 years until you're 16 and old enough to get a job. Oh man. Please. I said no. Go home. You're getting on my nerves. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou, Caillou, Caillou. I'm Caillou. That's me. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Kalu. Who are you? I am Dalu, your twin brother. Hi, Dalu. What are you talking about? You and I are identical twin brothers. I am only two minutes older than you. Your parents put me up for an adoption. That's why I am here to reunite you. Oh. Welcome back, Dalu my big brother. It's good to have you back. It's nice to meet you, too, Kalu. Good morning, Gilbert. <coughs> Today is Saturday. Let's go downstairs. Good morning, Kalu. How are you doing today? Okay, same old as always. Hey, Kalu. Would you like to join in and watch a big movie with us? The movie is about to begin right now. What movie are we going to watch? We're going to watch the Lego Movie. It's already out on DVD. I heard that the Lego Movie rocks. Oh man, I hate the Lego Movie. The Lego Movie really sucks. I like Dora the Explorer and the Wiggles better. I would love to, but I can't. What? Why? I don't feel very good. I'm sick and feel nauseated. Oh come on Kalu. You're faking sick, aren't you? No, I'm not. I really need to go, now. Okay, then hurry up. Don't disappoint us. Haha, <laughs> I fooled them. <coughs> what is it Gilbert? Is there something you see under mom and dad's bed? <coughs> hey, what's this you got? <coughs> hey, they're paperwork and documents about my birth and... <coughs> Adoption of my twin brother. Day I who? Oh my gosh, Gilbert. I didn't know I have a twin brother, Day I who, who is born two minutes before me and was given up for an adoption. 
Hey Kalu. Are you feeling better yet? We are still waiting for you, and what's that you got in your hand? Is this true? That I have a twin brother named Daiyu. Was he being put up for an adoption? Kalu. I can't believe you just found out about Daiyu. You know you're not supposed to be in my bedroom looking through my private stuff. It's rude, and I see that you are faking sick and you never threw up. That's it. You are grounded for one week. Come on in the living room with us and watch the Lego movie. Oh heck no. I hate the Lego movie. It is the worst movie ever. You can't make me. Too bad, Kalo. We are making you to watch the Lego movie with us for your punishment. Yeah, Kalo. Yeah, the Lego movie is the best movie ever. Woohoo! The Lego movie has finally started. I hate the Lego movie so much I want to get out of this living room right now. Whose phone is it ringing? It's okay, Dad. It's my phone. I'll get it. Could you excuse me please? Okay, then hurry up. Don't take too long this time. Hello, this is K.I.U. speaking. Hello, K.I.U. This is the director of Dara the Explorer. And we have really awesome news for you. Yeah. What's the awesome news then? The awesome news is that your dream is about to come true. Dara and Friends has just started today, and you can start watching it any time you'd like. Really? Yup. It all thanks to you, Caillou, for reviving Dara the Explorer from retiring. Dara, Diego and her grandma are partying really hard. Oh boy, thanks a lot for telling me. Bye bye. Kalu, what is taking you so long this time? And who was it you were talking to on the phone? Uh, it was the director of Dora the Explorer. What did he want? He just called to thank me for starting a new Dora the Explorer series, Dora and Friends. seen on the kids TV show. That is it. You are grounded forever. Come back to the living room and watch the Lego movie with us right now. From now on, there will be no more interruptions. You are to stay here to watch the Lego movie with us at all times. Yeah, that means no more bathroom breaks, no more talking on the phone, and no more excuses. You are never allowed to leave this living room during the movie. It's all your fault, Kiyaru. You revived Dora the Explorer by starting Dora and Friends. Yeah. Thanks a lot to you, Kalu. Okay, we are back at Mr. Hinkle's house. Now Kalu, this time, we want you to be on your better behavior. And absolutely no more calling Mr. Hinkle Grandpa. You got that? Yes, Dad. Alright, we will pick you up after work. Come on in, Kalu. This is my wife, Mrs. Hinkle. Why is Mrs. Hinkle laying on the couch? What's wrong with her? Mrs. Hinkle is sick. She has a flu. I need you to help me to make her feel better real soon. That's why I need you here. Would you mind watching her while I'm making her lunch? Okay, sure. Good. I will be back in a few minutes. What can I do to make her feel better? K.I.U. Whoa. Did you just called my name, Grandma? Yes, I just did. Could you please get me a glass of icy cold water? I'm really thirsty. Of course I can, Grandma. I'm making you one right now. Thank you, K.I.U. And by the way, don't call me Grandma. Why can't I call you Grandma, Grandma? Because I am not your Grandma. Call me Mrs. Hinkle. And please, stop calling me Grandma. Okay, sorry about that. Grandma, but I will call you Mrs. Hinkle from now on. That's it. I am calling Mr. Hinkle right now. You are annoying me. What's the problem? K.I.U. keeps calling me Grandma, and it's really annoying. K.I.U., how dare you call her Grandma? You know you're not supposed to call her that. That's it. I am calling your parents to pick you up right now. Let's go home right now.
Go to your room right now and stay in there forever. Yeah, that's what you get for calling Mrs. Hinkle Grandma. Hey Grandma, are you feeling today? I'm feeling all better right now. But please don't call me Grandma. Uh, why can't I call you Grandma? Because I am not your Grandma. Call me Mrs. Hinkle, okay? Okay, Grandma. Stop calling me Grandma. If you say this one last time, I'll call your parents and you will be grounded. You got that? Oh sorry, Grandma. I will never call you that again. That's it. I'm calling your parents right now. But I didn't mean to call you that. Yes you did mean to call me that. I'm still calling your parents and you're still going to be grounded. Amen. <laughs> hey everybody. What's up? What's wrong? Why are you guys so sad? We just got a phone call from one of Mr. Hinkle's friends telling us the sad news that Mr. Hinkle just passed away. Oh no. That's terrible. We are going to Mr. Hinkle's funeral to pay off our respects to him. We want you to be on your best behavior. Okay dad. I will be on my best behavior for Mr. Hinkle's funeral. I promise. Mr. Hinkle was a great man who always loved to build birdhouses. He was a great friend, a crafter, and a husband. Whenever things that were broken, Mr. Hinkle always fixed things at his workshop in his garage in a jiffy. This is all I can say for Mr. Hinkle. Thank you. Okay Kalu. It's your turn to share your thoughts about him. Mr. Hinkle was a terrible man. I hate him, and he hates me. He always gets me grounded for no reason at all, even though I never mean to call him Grandpa. He always farms on me, and to a very bad temper. Because he absolutely has no respect for me, I won't miss him at all. Not even a tiny bit. That is why I personally think that Mr. Hinkle is the most horrible man in the world. And I have no sympathy or sorrow for him at all. Kalu! How dare you talk that way about Mr. Hinkle! That is the most disrespectful speech I have ever heard in my life. That is it, you are so- <laughs> Grounded 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 for eternity. Let's go home right now. Look everybody. I'm sorry I didn't mean to disrespect Mr. Hinkle. It was only my opinion. Your apology is unacceptable, and yes, you did mean to disrespect Mr. Hinkle. No more funerals for you, Kalo. Now go to your room and get changed. Yeah, and don't even think about coming out. Hey, Dad. Can I drive? No, you may not. Why not? Because I said so. What do you mean you said so? Can't you just hand me the steering wheel? You are too young to drive a car, Kalu. So stop asking me if you can drive this car. It's annoying. Can I help you to drive it? I said no. Why not? Like I said before, you are too young to drive. You have be licensed or and at least 16 or older to drive. If you keep annoyingly asking me to drive, you are grounded. Okay dad. Can I help you with the directions instead? That's it, Kalu. You are grounded for two weeks. We're going home right now. Oh man. Kalu, today is your Uncle Jonas and Aunt Kristen's wedding day, and you are coming. We have to make their wedding extra special, is that understood? Okay, Dad, but I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's instead of going to their wedding. I have to agree with your father, Kalu. Can you just at least show up at their wedding? It's only one day. All right. All right, I'm going. Good. Let's go now. All right, Kano. Your sister Rosie is going to be the flower girl. And you, Kano, on the other hand, will be the ring barrier. You know what to do, right, Kano? Oh, yes, Mom. I'm getting ready. But may I go to the boys' room? 
Yes, of course you may, Kalu, but please be quick. The wedding is about to start any minute now. Okay, I will be back in a jiffy. I'm ditching the wedding, so I'm going to Chuck E. Jesus to see my friends again. Paleo, Sarah and Clementine. Hi, Kalu. It's so good to see you again, but shouldn't you be at the wedding? The wedding has been cancelled. Aunt Kristen and Uncle Jonas were in a terrible car accident and had to stay in the hospital. They're doing okay. Oh really? That's terrible. We are so sorry to hear about that. We hope they make it okay. But you are welcome to come join us here and eat with us. Oh cool. Let's eat into fun together. We gathered here today to celebrate and honor the dear beloved couple for their commitment. Do you, Jonas, take this woman, Kristen, to be you lawful, wedded wife, to love and to cherish, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long you shall live? I do. Do you, Kristen, take this man, Jonas, to be your lawful, wedded husband, to love and to cherish, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long you shall live? I do. And now, may we give out the rings? Has anyone seen Kalu? He is supposed to present the rings right now. Didn't he mention about going to Chuck E. Cheese's? You may be right, honey. Kalu must have ditched the wedding and have gone to Chuck E. Cheese's instead. He is so grounded for life. We must bring him back here now. Kalu, how dare you ditched the wedding and went off to Chuck E. Cheese's instead? That's it. You are so grounded, grounded, grounded forever. Let's get back to the wedding now, son. I now pronounce you, man and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Kalu, how could you have ditched the wedding and went off to Chuck E. Cheese's? You know you were supposed to be there to be the ring barrier. I thought that this wedding was going to be pretty boring. I don't like weddings very much, so I had to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Chuck E. Cheese's is way better than weddings. It doesn't matter, Kalo. You must come to wedding, no matter what. Weddings are very important family events. Go to your room and get changed now. Dad. Can I go trick or treating with you guys? No, you cannot. But it's Halloween, Dad. Why can't I go? We're going trick or treating without you, Kalu, because you are still grounded. Go back to your room now. <laughs> Life is so unfair. Everybody is trick or treating all except me. Hey, what's that you got here, Gilbert? <coughs> oh, cool. You brought me a swag of custom -y set. I am now a swag. I am going use the escape route. Thank you so much, Gilbert. <coughs> Paleo, Sarah, and Clementine. Hi, Kalu. What a splendid surprise you join in with us. But aren't you supposed to be grounded? It's Halloween, so my parents allow me to go trick or treating, with permission, even though I'm grounded. It's just for one night. Oh really? Well, okay, you can go trick or treating with us. Alright. Let's go now. <coughs> trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Hey, Leo, why are you supposed to be? I am supposed to be a cowboy, Mr. Hinkle. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween. Hello Clementine. What are you supposed to be? I am supposed to be a cute little bumblebee. Thank you so much, Mr. Hinkle. Happy Halloween. Hello, Sarah. What are you supposed to be? I am a scary looking three nurse, Mr. Dodinkle. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween. Hello, Mr. Hinkle. Happy Halloween. Who are you? What are you supposed to be? Don't you know me, Mr. Hinkle? I am supposed to be a swag. I am K.I.O. by the way. Aren't you going to give me something good to eat? 
No way I'm going to give you something good to eat. Hey, Ahud, you are supposed to be grounded. I am calling your parents right now. Hello, is this good Ahud's parents? Your son Kayu went out trick or treating while he is supposed to be grounded. Can you ground him some more? Thanks. Bye. Kalu, how dare you went out trick or treating while you are grounded? You are never allowed to do that. That is it. You are grounded ground at ground for 10000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
we can't believe you got expelled from school for cheating on a test. You need to wise up and you are better than that. That is it. You are grounded for one month. Your scholarship is denied and you won't be graduating from school. And you won't be going to college. We won't give you any college funds nor any intuitions. Ma, good morning Gilbert. And do you smell something very delicious? It's Thanksgiving, and yet, another day with no school for me, yay. Kalo, what have we told you about jumping on the bed? Oh, sorry mom, I almost forget. Well come on into the kitchen and help us for the Thanksgiving dinner today. I wonder what we're having for Thanksgiving this year. What are we having for Thanksgiving this year? We are having our usual Thanksgiving stuff, such as the roast turkey, pumpkin pie and mashed potatoes. But I hate turkey. Pumpkin and mashed potatoes. They taste like crap. I want pizza from Chuck E. Cheese's instead. Are you kidding, Kalu? Besides, we're not having pizza. It's Thanksgiving, so we're still having our usual stuff this year. Your father is right. Chuck E. Cheese's is closed because of Thanksgiving, so you can't have pizza today. You know what? Screw Thanksgiving. You can't make me. I'm still having pizza. Kalu, you dare to throw your Thanksgiving dinner plate at the kitchen wall. That's it. You are grounded during all of Thanksgiving weekend. You're not going to Chuck E. Cheese's after all. You're not even coming with us during Black Friday which it's tomorrow. Now get upstairs to your room right now. <coughs> oh, it's Black Friday. Thanks for reminding me though Gilbert. I am going to sneak off from the house to Toys R Us while I'm grounded. Uh, here it is, but there are a lot of door busting people awaiting. The big Black Friday event at our Toys R Us location has just begun. You can all come in and have fun. Everything is going on sale but for a short limited time. Wow, look at all the Black Friday shoppers all bunched up every inch of this store. Wow. Here are my favorite toys at my favorite place. These are all mine, so I don't have to wait until Christmas. Kalu, what do you think you're doing here? You are supposed to be grounded. Ah uh, shucks, I didn't know you guys are here. I just snuck off from the house to here. I thought you wouldn't notice me. Well we just did. That's it. You're coming straight home with us now. We are back home right now. There is no Black Friday for you Kalu. You know you are not allowed to leave the house while you're grounded. That is it, we are grounding you even longer than the Thanksgiving weekend. Let's make that two extra weeks longer after the Thanksgiving weekend. Hey Kalu, guess what today is? How could I guess? It's Hanukkah. Mr. Henkel is inviting you and us to his Hanukkah party night, every night. Oh no, not Mr. Henkel. Mr. Henkel is the worst person I have ever met. I'm not coming to his stupid Hanukkah party. We have to come. At least show some respect to Mr. Hinkle and their Jewish traditions. Why don't you make me dad? I am still not coming. I am not Jewish. Neither you nor mom nor my sister. It doesn't matter, Kalu. Anyone can come. If I hear one more back talk from you, you're grounded for eight days straight and I am forcing you to come. Make me dad. I have war on you Kalu. That's it. You are definitely grounded for 8 days. That includes 8 nights of Hanukkah we are forcing you to come. Hey, do you know what day it is, Gilbert? It's Christmas Day. Let's go open the presents right now.
Let's open the presents while everybody's asleep. Christmas presents here we come. What the? Hey, there is nothing inside of any of the presents I get but lumps of coal and reindeer poop. That's right, Kalu. You get nothing for Christmas because you are being naughty all year. Instead, Santa brought you lumps of coal and reindeer poop. But it's Christmas Day. Dad, you have got to be joking me. <laughs> yes, I was only joking. But this is your real Christmas present from us. Now wait a minute, Dad. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and open it. Hey, what is this? A video of K.I.U. Gets Grounded series. Yup. We have made just for you, Kalu. While you are still grounded, we're forcing you to watch the whole entire movie with us. <laughs> hey, Kalu. How was a Christmas? It sucks. All I did was to watch my own grounded videos all day. Christmas was no fun for me after all. Oh, but that's too bad. But it's Kwanzaa. We got a phone call from your friends Jason and Jeffrey. They are inviting all of us to come to their Kwanzaa party. What the heck is Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa is a holiday for Africans and African Americans to celebrate for their culture and for freedom. How long does the celebration of Kwanzaa last? Kwanzaa lasts for seven days, Kalo. Oh crap. Here we go again. Not another stupid and boring holiday. Too bad! Kalo! How dare you disrespect Kwanzaa by calling it stupid and boring? That's it. You are grounded for seven days of Kwanzaa straight. We are taking you there and forcing you to celebrate Kwanzaa with us anyways. Hey everybody, may I stay up late until midnight? It's New Year's Eve. Sorry dude. You cannot. You're still grounded. Go back to your room now. <laughs> oh shucks. How am I ever going to celebrate New Year's? Aha. There is an open window that I can slide through and escape. Now I am free at last. No one can stop me. 2015 here I come. This is where all my friends are hanging out with their fake IDs. Hey guys. Hi Kalu. Happy New Year's Eve. You're just in time for the big final countdown to 2015. Hurry up. It is about to start any time now. Hey, where have you been? Um, I went to celebrate New Year's with my friends at a bar. God dang it, Kalu. I can't believe you snuck off to a bar with a fake ID and while you're grounded. That is it. You are even more grounded for extended time. Again, go back to your room right now and don't you dare to sneak off again. <laughs> <laughs> 